Hello everyone, this is Tim with Connected Camps, and in this video we're going to show you how to get started with installing computer craft bods so you can participate in our coding camp or follow along uh, with coding in Lua at home. So the first thing we're going to do is double click our Minecraft game and we actually need to run an older version of Minecraft because computer craft is only compatible with Minecraft 1.7.10. So to check if you're uh, using an older version of Minecraft, you can actually switch between a lot of old versions or use the latest version of Minecraft, click edit profile right here. It'll pop up your profile editor. Click the use version drop down and select 1.7.10. Most people may be on use latest version, but what we want to do is click release 1.7.10, click save profile, and click play. Now this is going to download all the appropriate files it takes to run Minecraft 1.7.10. You can see it doesn't take that much time at all. Just verify on the bottom left hand corner that it says Minecraft 1.7.10. You do need to run uh, the game at least once so you have all the files appropriately downloaded to properly play this older version of Minecraft. Um, you can always switch back to the latest version using the steps I just showed earlier. Just select use latest version. Okay, so we're going to exit out of this now that we got it properly running. Next thing we're going to do is open up the install computer craft guide um, uh, distributed through the Connected Camps website. And there are two versions that you can download. They're kind of essentially the same thing, but we made it a bit easier to split them up. We can use the Windows download or the Mac download for all the files we need to install computer craft. So I'm on Windows. I'm going to click Windows download. And if you're on a Mac, it should be very, very similar steps. Um, the only difference is that you're downloading a Java jar file rather than an EXE, which only runs on Windows. So don't worry if you're on a Mac. Um, it's the same exact steps. So I'm going to click the Windows download button, opens up this uh, Google Drive uh, download page. I'm going to click the download button that's right here on the uh, top middle. And then it's just going to ask, it's going to prompt me to download the uh, Minecraft computer craft um, files that I need to install. So it's going to be on my desktop. Double click that folder. I, I'm saving everything to the desktop. You can save it anywhere you want. And then I'm going to click the forge installer file here. And on the Mac, it's named nearly the exact same thing, except it's a jar file. But go ahead. You can just double click and run it. Oops. And then it should run. This window should pop up here. And just make sure it says install client. And then it should say something like users, Tim, app, roaming, or your username, not Tim, uh, app data, roaming, and then Minecraft, dot Minecraft. It will say something really similar on Mac, except it says like library or applica application settings and library. But as long as it says Minecraft in the end, you're pretty much okay. Click okay. It's really important that you run Minecraft 1.7.1 before the step, um, because this is this Forge mod loader is installing uh, the mod loader exactly for that older version. Okay, so once that's done, uh, you may get an error here that says may have not installed correctly. Don't worry about that. We've tested it. Everything's fine. It's just a weird little quirk about installation. Click cancel. And the next thing you're going to do is actually drop the computer craft file into a mods folder. So you see there's another file here that says computer craft 1.73 jar. We're going to open up Minecraft again. Click edit profile. Click open game dir, which means open game directory. And again, this is the very similar steps in um, Mac in a Mac computer. And then you should see a folder here that says mods. But if you don't see that folder, go ahead and just right click and select new folder and name a folder mods um, if it's not there already. Okay, so there's a little small error there because I named the folder the same name. But I'm going to open up the mods folder and then in our downloaded files folder, which has the computer craft jar file, I'm just going to click and drag the file over to the mods folder. And then once that's done, I'm going to um, go back to my Minecraft client launcher and actually select the release 1.7.10 and now it should say a dash forge next to it. And it'll probably be at the bottom of your dropdown. So if you don't see it up next to all the 1.7 versions, just scroll all the way down to the dropdown. Click the 1.7 forge version, click save profile, click play. And it'll take a bit. 
it's loading all the new files you put in. And then you should successfully see Minecraft Forge on the bottom left. So it's four mods loaded, four mods active. You can click mods to see that Computercraft is properly installed. And uh, to, as a final test, you kind of want to create a new world. Let's do creative. And we're just gonna check if our blocks are in here properly. So let me just make this full screen. And then press E for the inventory. And then I'm gonna type turtle because these are the robots we'll be programming with. We got those. And then I'm gonna type computer because Computercraft actually gives us computers. So there you go. Um, can successfully place a turtle. If you run into any problems, um, just start. You just have to kind of start over from the very beginning, uh, the very first step. You may try deleting all your files from the uh, .minecraft folder with supervision after backing it up. Uh, so I recommend backing up the folder before you delete everything and just kind of re-download and, and uh, re-go through the steps. Um, and that usually solves most problems with installation. But um, after that. I think you should be good to go. Just make sure you have your blocks in your game, and we'll see you in the next video on how to get started actually coding with our computer craft turtles. All right, see you then.